Hey, hello, what's up everyone? Paul here from The Daily Dose. We have more updates for today and we'll, we'll uh, talk about the new cars from Matchbox, uh, a new car from Hot Wheels, new updates from Mini GT and some uh, exotic brands that you might want to know. And uh, let's start with Matchbox first. So yeah, here's a sneak peek on some of their basics, some of their upcoming uh, cars from five packs and some uh, matchbox collector cars and let's start with the first one uh, i think this is a morris minor just correct me okay if i'm wrong and uh, again once again classic car that matchbox absolutely uh, it's done a fantastic job on uh, they nailed this one absolutely really nice not a convertible i wish they would do like a, a convertible morris minor i think that one looks awesome too but yeah i like this one classic color on that classic wheels uh, the matchbox series always look good on those vintage cars so really nice love the details also on this Re just really simple and the car right there behind that one what is that <laughs> is that um a forerunner old forerunners uh, let me know in the comment section down below I'm not really quite sure to be honest but love that one also I think there's uh, is that a Subaru the police car right there again not, not really quite sure you guys you guys can leave a comment down below and uh, check this one out since Barbie is really hot these these a uh, couple of months uh, matchbox releasing like a barbie a honda civic so really nice looking in pink man to be honest some of you might not like it but i think like uh the uh, pink looks absolutely great in our 164 scale cars i don't know why honestly but that looks nice uh what looks to be like a, a just a basic honda civic yeah really nice details on that Look at the details up front perfect printing details uh, uh your yeah, rear i'm 100 percent sure that one has details also plus side mirrors and i think that is uh, a skyline right there the blue one yeah looks really really nice also it's just japanese nostalgic on the side that looks nice then uh, again the police car you guys can name it in the comment section and check this one out beautiful ford f100 uh yeah looks to be a, like a premium release part of their matchbox collector series that looks freaking nice man look at that one look at the paint look at the decals right there wheels i think they could improve on that a lot but yeah it is what it is i still like it for what it is so really nice f100 uh i think this is uh a karma gs6 right here yeah that is a long car <laughs> to be honest yeah the front end man looks really long but uh yeah that's that's how it looks um in real life yeah it is a nice looking car right there i thought at first it was like a tesla or something but uh, i'm pretty sure that is a, a karma gs6 so once again detailed front and rear for that one just stock looking which is really really nice and um, bugatti devo right there man that is insane yeah matchbox nailed that one also loving that one yeah, perfect looking bugatti devo yeah it could, it, I, I don't know man. if you look at it quickly it could pass as like a car for mini gt to be honest yeah it's it's that good it's just so nice and that porsche right there um yeah absolutely absolutely freaking nice huge fan of porsche so yeah i, I will definitely be looking out for that one um uh, in stores and i think that unfinished one at the back i think that is a ford bronco just correct me if i'm wrong okay but yeah that looks promising also with opening hood and check out their new recolor of the mitsubishi 3000 gt 
which is a really nice looking car for for matchbox yeah, i love the plastic headlights right there i love that i love cars that have less plastic headlights so yeah that is freaking nice detailed also right there with the mitsubishi logo printed and lovely five spoke set of wheels and yeah here's a tesla model 3 right there the matchbox has a really good looking teslas and uh man yeah they they really look beautiful subaru forester uh beside that that blue one yeah detailed front and rear with the with the moonroof also and man yeah these are absolutely nice looking cars for matchbox uh these are the these will be for uh, for next year again uh mix of basics uh mix of cars from five packs and some matchbox collectors co collector cars in here um, i'm freaking excited about matchbox in uh, 2024 and uh, let's check out this this uh, update on the hot wheels tuned portion 964 that one again i love tuned cars for some reason i i just admire them and this one same with the supra with that weird <laughs> weird uh, uh front end right there or or uh, windshield yeah some some of you find it weird how it just goes straight up but i i don't mind that yeah that looks good and uh yeah details on this it says 964 turbo the in the plate number and detailed headlights detailed porsche logo right there yeah even the rear fantastic details on that one uh one of the best looking tuned cars so far from from hot wheels and let's have some updates from mini gt kind of late with uh with this update but yeah here we go uh they have a brand new uh, shelby gt 500 uh, wide body that is in pepper way metallic uh, this is like 10 US dollars, which is really good for the price point. Got a Nissan Skyline GTR R34, Tommy Kyra RZ in midnight purple. That is a must have if you have to ask me. They have just tons of beautiful R34s, man. Uh, we got a BMW Alpina B7 uh, X Drive, drive it gray metallic for that one. That is also. 10 us dollars so stock looking but freaking nice uh this one's more expensive the acura nsx gt3 evo 22 that is number 93 uh, that is from the uh, uh, uh imsa 2023 daytona 24 hour race again this one's more expensive at around 12 us dollars but yeah tons of details tons of uh decals on that and one of my favorites the nissan lb silhouette s15 sylvia is right here number 23 from the 2002 goodwood festival of speed uh, if you miss out on the previous lb super uh, lb silhouette s15 sylvia uh, here's another chance uh, there's some just minor differences between that this one and the older release so for casual collectors i think you won't mind that because the older one is just impossible to find right now uh, especially from where i live uh, again this is just only 12 us dollars so you can't go wrong with this with the details the quality that mini gt has so they also have like a, a figure set so this is team liberty walk this is more expensive though at 1080 pesos or close to 20 us dollars they also have this paddock service tent set uh, this is like an lb racing uh service tent this is uh, 360 pesos or around uh six us dollars so again they are accepting pre-orders for this go go uh, check out your favorite uh mini gt distributor for this and let's have a look at some exotic brands out there that are building or are making fabulous cars so yeah here is a really good looking nissan skyline gtr r33 
from Focal Horizon. This is 164 scale with tons of details and you got like opening features for that. So check out the engine bay details on that man. Uh, wow. It's just wow. Uh, minute details are perfectly, perfectly done. Yeah, a closer look it almost looks like a real r33 nismo yeah it's just insane how gorgeous that one is uh, i can't <laughs> i can't describe it anymore but yeah it's just fabulous it's just an amazing looking car first time i've heard of focal horizon uh, i think these uh these brands right here pretty pretty the same pricing uh, with a with a premium uh, exotic bands out there, so expect this to be really expensive. But you just check out the details. Just be careful though; it kind of looks fragile. Uh, but yeah, this is fantastic stuff right here. And yeah, how about this? This is also a nice looking JDM car. This is from Air 404. We've heard of this. This is the Mazda RX-7 Rocket Bunny in candy red. This is limited edition, limited to 499 pieces, only worldwide. So check out the uh, features for that one. So amazing looking body kit, really beautiful uh, paint finish right there. Beautiful set of wheels uh, for this. So really nice RX-7 Rocket Bunny from uh, Air 404. And yeah, that's it for our update <laughs> it it took uh quite a long time here almost 12 minutes i hope you didn't mind and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe and see you on the next episode thank you for watching and have a great day it's a weekend go out and hunt and have fun and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of the weekend guys bye bye